Hi, welcome. We are going to sing the fourth canon of Christmas today for the fourth day of Christmas. And for those of you who may be newish to the whole idea of the 12, 12 days of Christmas and you're just knee deep in holly and ivy, this may come as a little bit of a shock. The fourth day of Christmas is when we remember the holy innocents, the young boys slaughtered by Herod in Bethlehem. So this particular canon is a four-part canon setting. We'll be singing three parts only, obviously because of human limitations <laughs> being only three, but it's a four-part canon setting of Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 15 and 16, and it's called A Voice is Heard in Rama." So this is a prophecy, and it's referring to Rachel weeping after the fall of Bab Babylon in Rama, which is where she's buried. Um, but it's, which is a type of the future slaughter of the innocents by Herod. So we'll be singing once through in unison and only one more time in a three-part canon because this is a bit of a lengthy one. After that, I'll be teaching to you phrase by phrase and then we'll see if we can put it together. So I'm here with Emma and Cece. We'll sing it once and then Cece's going to start the canon. So you ready? Here we go. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children, she refuses to be comforted. For her children, because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. For your work declares the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of our enemies. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is Sleeping for the her children, Lord, she refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, Keep is your voice from weeping and she refuses to be comforted for her children because they Says the Lord, keep your tongues from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. For your work declares the Lord, and they shall come back from weeping and your eyes from the Says the Lord, keep your tongues from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward for your work. Declares the Lord, says the Lord, and they shall come back from the
shall come back from the land of our enemies. All right. So this is obviously a bit of a lengthy one. There are four phrases, and each phrase is a little lengthy. So we're going to take them one at a time, but we're going to split them into halves. I'll sing the first half, you repeat after me, and Emma and Cece will be singing with you. So, first phrase sounds like this. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama. Second half. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Together. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama. Lamentation and bitter weeping. Great. Second phrase the same way. First half, Rachel is weeping for her children. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. That's a little lengthy, but let's try the whole thing. Ready? She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Good. Let's put that second phrase all together and try the whole thing. Ready? Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Okay, now the third phrase has three eighth note pickups. So we just sang more, and we're going to continue into the third phrase with, Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. And that's kind of lengthy, but I'm going to have, have us do the whole thing. So I'll sing it one more time, then you repeat it. Pick up into the third phrase. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. Okay, and still not done with the third phrase. The last little half here continues. For your work declares the Lord. For your work declares the Lord. Okay, now we're going to go back and put that whole third phrase together with the three pickups together. Thus says the Lord. Ready? Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward. For your work declares the Lord. Almost done. Last part. And this is just as long as the others, but it's much less active, so hopefully easier to learn. The only thing you have to keep an eye out for is that this phrase starts on the offbeat. So we start here. That would be where phrase one, phrase two come in with thus says the Lord or Rachel is. So if you're listening for those parts, you want to wait an eighth note and then sing and they shall come back. So let's just do that part because I want to get that little pick up there. So it's, and they shall come back. Ready, try it. And, and they, they shall, shall come, come back. back. And then let's go through the whole rest of the phrase, which is, from the land of our enemies. Mm -hmm. Ready, go. From the land of our enemies. So am 
much more drawn out there. So let's put together the fourth phrase now, and then we've got the whole thing, hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fourth phrase. Ready? Here it is. And, and they, they shall come back from the land of our enemies. Okay, there's a lot there. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you may need to go back and review some of those, but we're going to try to piece it together, and we're just going to sing it once in unison for a couple of reasons. One, because I think it's you, we've got the, uh, the miracle of technology at our fingertips here. If you want to sing it seven times, go ahead and do so by just rewinding. So uh, we'll go once through all together, and then we'll try to put it back into canon form. You ready? Ready. Here we go. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children, she refuses to be comforted. For her children, because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For there is a reward for your work, declares the Lord. And they shall come back from the land. thing. Now, we're going to try to piece it together and put it twice through into a three-part canon. So, obviously, as always, if you've sung these before, you have the option of just starting <laughs> with Cece, who's going to start this one, and stay with her the whole time. The first step to pulling any of these canons together is independence. So, if you're all you're doing is trying not to get distracted by the other parts, that's excellent. However, if you're able to go back and throw in other parts, maybe you've got 14 children and you're all uh, hyper gifted. This is like morning prayers in the Bach household or something. <laughs> if that's you, then some of you may sing with Cece. I'll be coming in second. Some of you may sing with me. Emma will be coming in third. Some of you may sing with her. And if you are true heroes of canon singing, you may even add a fourth part, which would come in when Emma begins her second phrase. CC begins her fourth phrase, and I begin my third phrase. <laughs> that was more complicated than I thought it would be. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping in your eyes. She refuses to be comforted for her Says the Lord, and they shall come back from weeping and your eyes from the tears, and there is a reward for your words that declare the Lord. Thus says the Lord, and they shall come back from weeping and your eyes from the tears. For her 
So thank you for singing with us. I hope that that was edifying for your family. I know that was a very difficult one. It's a bit of a marathon as well. So uh, I hope you'll join us and I hope you'll continue to sing these canons to help to edify your Christmas season and to sing God's word together.